Veterans Administration scandal. It's new tonight from our ABC 7i team. The VA's main suicide hotline has been putting vets on hold or sending callers to voicemail in their moment of need. Eyewitness News investigative reporter Chuck Gowdy joining us with the story. Chuck. Alan, this is especially disturbing because 22 American military veterans commit suicide every day. And now new findings tonight that the VA suicide hotline has been telling some callers to leave a message while others are transferred to nowhere. But the I-team has learned that a new report by the VA Inspector General should come as no surprise to official Washington. They were given a similar report six years ago. But is your boyfriend having any suicidal thoughts? This is where the VA's main suicide hotline is supposed to answer calls 24-7. And I'm going to stay on the phone to you until somebody arrives. But tonight, this call center near Rochester, New York, has been called out by the VA Inspector General. According to this report, whether the calls are from Chicago or Albuquerque, one of every six calls to the suicide line are redirected to backup centers because the crisis line is overloaded. Sometimes the calls are sent to voicemail. It is not the impressive image portrayed in these veterans' administration public service announcements. Thank you for calling the Veterans Crisis Line. Tonight, Illinois Senator Mark Kirk, chairman of a Veterans Affairs Subcommittee, says the mishandled calls are a function of corruption and incompetence at the VA, which he says knows no boundaries. What sounds like a broken record, a VA internal report six years ago found that all veterans' phone lines were dysfunctional, not just the crisis hotline. In this report obtained by the I-Team, investigators found that inquiring veterans reached an agent 76% of the time. Of those reaching an agent, agents answered 72% of their questions correctly. The latest swipe at VA services comes as more veterans need help after Iraq, Afghanistan, or even aging Vietnam vets. Calls to these VA crisis centers are up 40% in the last reporting period. One-fifth of all suicides in the U.S. are veterans. Tonight, a VA official says the agency is working to upgrade the crisis hotline by hiring more staff and scheduling them better during peak call hours, which is half the day.